Hello, I'm Reverend Steve Killam. I am the senior pastor here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church. We would really love for you to join us for one of our in-person worship services. We worship at 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Our uh, church is located at 1505 South John Reddit Drive here in Lufkin, Texas. That's on the South Loop at the intersection of Hanks, and it's by Copeland Street. Uh, if, if you're worshiping with us online and you're from out of town and, and, and you like what you see and, and you wish to, to make an offering, uh, you can send that to St. Paul's United Methodist Church, and that's P.O. Box 921, Lufkin, Texas, 75902. Uh, and we, we would take anything and, and whatever we get helps us with this online service. Now, we are a United Methodist Church. Uh, if, if you are a United Methodist uh, member somewhere and your church has, has disaffiliated with the United Methodist Church and, and you want to be a part of a United Methodist congregation, that is us. We're, we're somebody that is free-spirited. We're all about the big tent. We have very conservative. We have very progressive people. Uh, but we know that Jesus uses a lot of different tools and a lot of different ways to spread the gospel to all people. Uh, at this time, uh, I just ask you to kick back, sit back, and, and worship with us with the Holy Spirit. Go fight win. Amen.
so glad that you could join us this morning. Let's go to our Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we ask that you send your Holy Spirit on each and every one of us and let this service be truly wonderful for all. We ask these things in your son Jesus' name. Go fight, win. Amen. Let's join in our profession of faith this morning. Our profession of faith will be the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day He rose from the dead, He ascended to heaven, and sit at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence shall come the judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The weather's getting a little chilly outside. Brrr. And one of the things that we do here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church is we have a firewood ministry. If you know of someone in the Lufkin area that is in need of firewood, now we don't sell it, we give it away. But there are people that, that this is really how they, they, they heat their homes, especially when it gets very, very chilly. And so if you know of someone that, that may be in need of, of some firewood, Drop us a line at 634-7810. That's area code 
634-7810. And we'll try to follow up with that. And we'll try to deliver them. It's not a lot. It's maybe a quarter of a cord. But it is something that keeps you warm when it gets very, very cold. At this time, let us go to our Lord in silent prayer and reflection. Dear Lord, we come to you this week at Thanksgiving as a thankful congregation. We're so thankful for all that you do in our world. We're thankful for the little things. We're thankful that we have enough to drink we have uh, and eat. We are thankful that, that we have a place to sleep and, uh, and, and things that keep us warm. We're thankful for the bigger things, too. We're thankful that we live in, a, in an area which uh, is where people look out for each other and uh, where we're not in the chaos of war and where people aren't shooting each other all and blowing each other up. We're thankful that we have the opportunity to tell our brothers and sisters and others in the community about the gospel of Jesus Christ and about your love and your grace. We're thankful for all the things. We're thankful for uh, the way that you heal the sick. We're thankful for for our schools and our teachers and and, and the students that, that do such a, uh, a wonderful job of preparing for the next generation. Most of all, we are thankful for your son, Jesus Christ. And together we lift up that thanks as we say that prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Scared Oh, I thought I knew Scared Now I'm so filled with fear I can barely Doubts. I've had my share of doubts, but never more than right now. I'm wondering where you are here on the edge of fall apart. Somehow your promises find my trust. to believe Someday I'll look back and see All oh, the pain had a purpose Your plan was perfect all along This is the truth I'm standing on Good I believe you're still good Even where life's not good I will not lose this hope The God who parts the sea Promises he's gonna make I 
shaking You remind me where my help comes from This is the truth I'm standing on Even when all my strength is gone You're faithful forever And I know you'll never let me fall Right now I'm choosing to believe Someday soon I'll look back and see All the pain had a purpose Your plan was perfect all along This is the truth I'm standing on Hey, Tater. Hey, Chip. What are you doing this week? Oh, you know, hanging out, having fun. So, are you and your family having Thanksgiving meal? I suppose, but it's just not the same. What, no turkey? You're a turkey. What? I think we'll have turkey, but... But what? Well, I'm just not sure if I really feel thankful this year. What? Well, it's just been so, so wild, so different, so depressing. Okay, I know this year has had its challenges. Challenges? This year has been a genuine disaster. Online school, online worship, online coffee talk with your friends. Wait, online coffee talk? Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> Honestly, Chip. Does it always have to be about you? Oh, wow. But, turkey butt! What? <laughs> to get back where I was before I was rudely interrupted, I just don't think I feel thankful this year. Tater, we should always give thanks. In Ephesians 5.20, Paul says, Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything? Did I stutter? Even the things that we, that have happened this year? Especially about the things that have happened this year. We are still God's children, and nothing can take that away. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, I feel better. Thank you, Chip. You're always so very welcome. Let's pray. Everyone, bow your heads and repeat after me. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you will do. Thank you for what you will do. And thank you for family and friends. And thank you for family and friends. Amen. Amen. I can't wait to talk to my friends at Online Coffee Talk. They'll be so impressed. Maybe I can explain it to them. Maybe, but we don't let turkeys talk. What? Goodbye, Tater. <laughs> Sigh. Our scripture this morning comes from the book of Colossians, the first chapter, verses 11 through 20. Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. This is the word of God for the people of God. 
Thanks be to God. Amen. Let's go to our Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, open up our hearts, open up our minds, and help us learn. We ask these things in your son Jesus' name. Go fight, win. Amen. What holiday is coming soon? No, I'm not talking about Christmas. I'm talking about real soon. I'm talking Thanksgiving. And we look at what this holiday and, and, and what it means. You know, Thanksgiving is a secular holiday, but it has become fairly religious as opposed to some other holidays like Christmas, which is kind of a religious holiday, but has become very secular. But I do like Thanksgiving because to me it means the, the holy trinity of Fs. Football, food, and family. So, to be honest... I absolutely love Thanksgiving. As a boy uh, and a young man, we gathered as a family at my grandmother Bain's house in Centerville, Texas. Now, with all humility, I have to admit that I'm a pretty good cook. Now, I'm a very good cook. I am a chef. But I am no grandmother Bain. I'll tell you, I, I, I do not rise to her level. Her turkey, yes, we're traditionalists, was always juicy, always tasty. Even the, the chicken breast was never dry. The dark meat was just to die for, always. Her dressing, and her dressing, of course, was cornbread dressing. It's cornbread based, was always on point. The cranberries were, were, they were just sweet. The fruit salads were really good, but the best things were her pies. Especially pecan and sweet potato. Her sweet potato pie is still my favorite dessert ever. Bar none. It is it. You know, I, I was one of these guys that, you know, most people have cakes for their birthdays. My grandmother would, would, would cook me a sweet potato pie. And the food was the main event. And Bain relatives from all over the world, literally, because the Bains were big in the military and the Bains were big in the oil industry, so you never knew where they were coming from. They could be coming from the Middle East. They could be coming from, from Turkey. They could be coming from Europe. But they would all gather and they would tell their stories. And, and that was very fascinating for a boy like me to listen to. Remember, I love stories. And, of course, we watched football. It was always great. It was always something that I really looked forward to. So, but how does that translate to my life now? You know, my grandmother is long gone, and she took her her, her sweet potato pie re, uh, recipe with her. Uh, my grandmother Bain was very short sighted, even though I begged her to, because she she never had a written recipe. I said, just just cook it. I'll I'll video it. And then I'll break it down from there. But she never wanted to do that. And so she took it with the grave. She also took her chicken and dumpling recipe. And I'll tell you, that really hurt. But uh, I go all over and have celebrations. Sometimes we have it in Lufkin. This time we're going to have it in Lufkin. Sometimes we go and, and uh, we, we celebrate with e either children or our brothers and sisters. And, and, and sometimes we even go out to a, a restaurant to eat on Thanksgiving. We don't always just come and, and, and have it at somebody's house. And football well, the, the Cowboys still play on Thursday, but the Horns don't play till Friday. But maybe this may be the best Thanksgiving ever. Why? Well, because like many of you, I have so much to be thankful for. Now, this year has been has not really been that spectacular. Uh, it hasn't been as bad as, say, a couple of years ago, but it's been very taxing, and for some reason... I feel thankful this year. And when we look at the, at the scripture today, Paul is telling his followers at Colossae about heaven. Now, uh, this was written while Paul was in prison. Maybe by Paul, maybe not. That's not really important. What is important is that it was intended to be read aloud to a group of people. 
Now, Colossae was a very cosmopolitan city on the Mediterranean. It's in modern-day Turkey. Uh, there were Greeks. There were all kinds of other people uh, that, that gathered here. Uh, they were very intellectual. They were very worldly. And what Paul is basically saying is that Christ is king. So, if Christ is king, where does that leave us? So it really calls us into mission, into the inheritance that God, Christ, intended. This causes us to be with him always. And when we talk about inheritance, so many times we, we, we think when, when somebody dies, the things that they leave with us. Inheritance is actually what people teach us and, 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 and not leave with us when they go, but how they mold our lives. That is the inheritance that we have. Paul encourages prayer and thanksgiving and sees joy in the reality of peace. Did I forget to tell you that this is while he's imprisoned? Hmm. Thanksgiving often leads to joy and prayer leads to the reality of peace. You know, this makes one firmly grounded in God. You know, this is one of the reasons that, that Thanksgiving is such a wonderful day. We come together. And usually in my family, no matter where we are, we do offer up some kind of prayer. We offer up some thanks of what is going on around us. And that's why Thanksgiving means so much. For once, I see this holiday is a time to rejoice. So, what are you thankful for? You know, there are a lot of things that have happened this year, and, 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 and we can all be thankful in a lot of them. Uh, what will you rejoice in? What are the things that you really are going to show joy about? My challenge is to reflect on these questions over the next couple of days and the next couple of weeks. I suggest that when you do, you will find God and you will find God's peace. And brothers and sisters, that is what I'm thankful for. Go fight win, amen. So, go out into the world, showing the world God's love and God's grace, not just by the things that you say, but by the things that you do. Go fight, win. Amen. You see, in Ephesians 5.20, Paul says... Paul? As in Mr. Steve Paul? <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> 
That concludes today's service. Uh, if you are ever in the Lufkin area and you wish to uh, join us for one of our in-person services, we're located at 1505 South John Reddit Drive here in Lufkin, Texas. We worship on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock. Also, if you wish to give us uh, an offering, that you can send that to St. Paul's United Methodist Church, P.O. Box 921, Lufkin, Texas, 75902. We are certainly glad that you took the time to worship with us, and we hope that we can see you soon. Go fight win. Amen.